Hey, this is Lula, and this is the series where we look at the most expensive house for sale in each state. We are in Pennsylvania, and if you're looking at the price tag here and thinking that doesn't look like an East Coast price, uh, that's because Pennsylvania is not, in fact, on the coast. That's right, it is a Rust Belt state masquerading as an East Coast state for clout. Uh, what we've got here is one of my favorite contradictions. It's a cottage-style mansion. And the little round turrety things and the archways, that's, that's all what gives it that cottage vibe. And then the fact that it's fucking enormous is, is what kills it. So this is an 8-bed, 12-bath, built in the 1920s. So we're hopefully going to see some nice historical touches if it hasn't been too mangled uh, by, by the renovators of time. All right, looking at the back, we can see that this roof line is so very much. We've got a lot of shapes going on here. It looks like it's been added on to many, many times over the years. Like the, This, I'm thinking, was maybe the original house, and then this wing might have been added later. This was definitely a later addition. Um, yeah, lots, lots of scrambly add-ons. This is a golf course. Of course it's a golf course. Oh, that's a wonderful use of water, is, is all this lawn here, and a, a wonderful use of land. Great, we love to see that. Monoculture. Poof, there it is. You know, it's just the one hole. I wonder, you know, if you're golfing just the one hole, are you actually... I feel like there's a risk that you're just improving your skills for this one specific golf hole. It's like only practicing one level in, in Mario Kart. You're, you become an ace at Rainbow Road, but you can't do anything else. Yep, very proud of that. All right, here's the house again. Whoo, huge wall of windows here. I'm sure that doesn't cost a fortune to heat. And uh, we got some nice covered seating area with a balcony there. Oh, and a little fountain. How about that? The stonework on these, these retaining walls is very nice. Uh, the stonework on the house, you can tell that it's an older house because they don't really bother to do that kind of stonework anymore. I imagine on the newer sections of the house, they might have done facades, or maybe they actually shelled out for real stonework because they wanted it to match the rest of the house. Who knows? Oh, this is that... Uh, that Tudor style that we were looking at before, I forget what the, the specific name for it, but it was a Tudor revival style um, with this this brown framing around, well, it's supposed to be white, I think. Um, and, and we've seen it with stone before, so that must be just the style. Yep, you can see that's pretty integral to the house. That was in a later edition. Oh! Oh, this is interesting. Okay, so this is a house behind the house because i assume these stairs go up to the main house um so this is this is like a guest house or a mother-in-law house or something but this is obviously much newer because these are some really wild styles that you would not see in the 20s uh, we got some corporate artwork out here uh, so that we look like we're at a, a business center i am intrigued to know what's going on in here that looks like it was trying to go to space at one point there's the outside again all right i think we're gonna get to go inside soon we got some interesting i think that's metal work on the door there with that uh oh we got a creepy statue creepy statue in the window that looks like a ghost there oh we've got all right, that's, that's a, it's a semi-grand foyer, and instead of the foyer table, they have gone with a statue of a woman who, it looks like maybe doesn't have a head. Uh, okay. Very flexible toes, though, on this woman. Uh, I think those are, are those pigs or dogs? I don't, oh, and there's little faces on this table here. There's, there's a lot going on here. There's, there's a face over that, too. They've got a very expensive looking vase up here that that's how you know they don't have kids. Or if they do have kids, they've been beat into submission. Uh, they do have fucking can lights here. Oh boy, this is going to be one of those houses with an atrocity of can lights. I just know it. All right, this is an office of some sort. We've got some very stern wood paneling. We've got some 
It looks like maybe original ceiling, but we have uh, drilled can lights in it because we hate America. Nice big bay window here, though, and, and the floors are very nice. Here's this area. We've got some symmetrical chairs because the rich can't buy just one of a piece of furniture. Uh, we got some little animal knickknacks. I think that's an elephant. That's maybe a lion. Our animal knickknacks going to be a theme of this house. It's, it's looking like it. Uh, this is, this is a very modern style here. This is like Swedish. That's, that's like a Ikea style. And then we got some very distinctive looking tile work. Do you think the the fish hanging here, do you think that came out of the box or do you think they had a special order? We want dead fish on our tiles. Uh, oh, oh, but they do have, they've got a pasta arm. Do you see the pasta arm? I love a pasta arm. Decadence. The, the faucet was not that far away, but we needed the pasta arm anyway. Uh, peasants carry pots. The, the wealthy live in style. Uh, we do, in fact, have just an atrocity of can lights in here. It doesn't even look like... So we've talked about in these older homes that a lot of times they've ruined the ceilings because you had to run HVAC into the ceilings and there was really no other way to do it but it looks like they've actually lowered this dividing space here this is where the hvac is going through because there's a vent all the way along there so these are possibly the original ceilings here and they've ruined them oh we've got more tile work here all right that's that's getting a little intense we've got a very uh distinctive polka dot wallpaper not just on the wall on they wallpapered the door that's wild um and then we've got this elaborate tile work around this little fireplace the fireplace in the kitchen is probably a relic of the older house uh, on the one hand the tile work is it's distinctive it's artistic on the other i don't it looks a little old-fashioned combined with the fireplace, which I wouldn't mind if it wasn't right up against, like, this very modern-style cabinetry and countertop. I'm also, I'm looking in here. Uh, we've got, this looks like the refrigerator here, but that also looks like a refrigerator. So we potentially have one refrigerator that's, that looks metal like it's been allowed to be an actual refrigerator and one bonus hidden refrigerator because you can't let them know you have a second refrigerator <laughs> if they know you have a second refrigerator uh they won't be afraid to eat the last of anything because they'll assume you've got more all right here's another angle oh there's even more tile work over here yeah that's officially too much um, so the kitchen is not on the main level because this is a stair up here. We've got a navigator star here. We've got some very interesting metal work on the railings in the spiral staircase that goes up. I, the TV here, I, I've said that I like a TV in the kitchen because you spend a lot of time there doing, you know, chopping vegetables, sometimes mindless tasks, you're stirring a roux. This isn't a good spot for it. It's like you you have to be specifically here. Otherwise, it's it's not really of much use if you're stuck at the stove or something like that. And, and it looks weird there. It's a weird placement. Do we have more kitchen back here? Do we have like a second kitchen immediately behind the Is that what the second refrigerator is about? I'm I'm suspicious. Yep, this is a kitchen. Behind the kitchen, got another faucet, another fridge, another stove. This is ridiculous. Why? Why is this necessary? It's like there's only so many things you can put in a kitchen, and, and they had so much space, which doesn't make sense because this is an old house, so why is there so much space in it? And they were like, well, we've we've already got a stove, we got a fridge, we got a, you know, da-da-da-da. Uh, we got some more space, though. What should we put in it? I don't know. Put it in a second kitchen. All right, this is like a dishwashing food prep area that's going from the kitchen to the dining room. Uh, I do want to point out the pigs. Um, we've we've got a, a pig theme going. We got pig people here. Okay, uh, that's I think just important to know as we go forward. We got a 
dining room with an interesting situation over here. I'm a little confused by what's happening with the ceiling and this wall of windows because these windows continue up for several floors. Those, I think, were a three-story wall of windows. And yet we've got this ceiling that just cuts right off there. Um, I got to wonder what came first because I can't imagine it was originally designed like this. And maybe this is an addition or what? And maybe this all used to be open and just really tall and they added floors above. Or maybe they added this bank of windows onto the house later. What a, a strange thing. And what a weird thing to... The polka dot w wallpaper, they ran between these itty bitty little bits of wall between the windows. That's fascinating. Really fascinating that they would make that choice. The ceilings, god awful. I mean, because like these are nice ceiling details. These beams and they've got these little details here. Those are the things that you look for in an older house. And then they've got this, the, what are, are those speakers? I, I see these in the ceilings of all of these houses. I think they're speakers. Um, I mean, the vents you can't really avoid. That's You ran the HVAC up there, but the can lights. You could have done something, but you didn't need to do that. At that least of all, because you've got a ton of light fixtures. Very cool light fixtures in here. I like this, this lantern that matches these wall sconces. Those are so unique. What the fuck did you need a can light for? All right, let's look at the sitting area here. Oh, we got dogs. Oh, we got more We got more animal statues. Are these pictures of dogs? Is this the dog room? I assume all of these pictures here are of dogs. Um, okay, okay, back to the seating area. We got very symmetrical furniture. Uh, we even have symmetrical couches, symmetrical chairs, symmetrical these weird little footstool thingies. Um, very cramped little space here. How do you even get in there? Do you have to like climb over one of these or like shuffle in between? You you could have just left out a piece of furniture to make this at all an accessible sitting space. Uh, Marilyn does not match even a little bit. We got more, more very cool light fixtures and more can lights. Why? Why do you need those? There's so many lights in here. What do you need to see? Oh, wow. This is some intense wallpaper. I mean, is that even wall? It's got to be wallpaper, but it's so it's it's almost like a mural. It maybe it is a mural. I don't know. I I think I like it. Um, you know, it's it's floral, so it's it's got enough of a continuous motif with the the flowers and the birds and the, you know, all of that that it looks cohesive it's not distracting um i mean obviously it's one of the first things i noticed in here but i think it looks nice i don't know that the furniture and the rug in here match it i think they are competing with it because it's this very kind of subtle neutral tone and then you've got this really loud blue carpet really bright red chairs I'm concerned about what this guy might be. I feel like he might be offensive in some way or appropriative. Uh, we got more horses. And then we got, we got the two tables. Is this like the kids' table at Thanksgiving? It's okay. Okay. Ceiling. Hideous. Hideous ceiling. Oh, my God. We've got a single can light in the ceiling. What is that? Look at this, a sea of empty seal in a, one single can light. It's not doing anything. Oh my God. Is that a pagoda? I'm, I'm getting concerned. Maybe, maybe we've got some, some East Asian people living here, but I'm not that optimistic about, uh, about the qualifications here. Another very tight little sitting area. They really like to huddle these around. Uh, these, uh, this chair and this couch, that fabric, that's really out. That was like an 80s and 90s style furniture fabric. I, I know exactly how this furniture sounds when you touch it. It's like that whoop, 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 whoop. It's this really slippery, that's, that's very dated. And the woodwork on the walls here... That's much newer, so 
I'm thinking maybe this is a recent addition or they like really ruined the original details in this room and, and came in and put in something new. Um, we got a second sitting area in this room because we got too much floor space. Uh, these frumpy dumpy curtains with the valence, uh, they're not quite hemmed right, uh, first of all. And it doesn't really match. Uh, I'm a little concerned about this pastel pink room out here with the this this looks a little eastery to me all right we got a, a interesting little patio area out here this seems to be the music room i like that we got a grand piano we got a guitar got space for people to sit and listen to the show i don't really know what's going on over here um the arches are beautiful the tile on the uh, the patio is really nice the ceiling, I don't, I feel like everything else in here is so interesting that the ceiling being left like plain white is almost distracting. Like it's, it's just the sea of, of white that doesn't actually match the rest of the space. And this leads through to this Easter egg room I was looking at before. We've got this big white spiral staircase so much track lighting. All right, let's 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 see if we're going in there. Yep, we are. Oh my God, look at this track lighting going around this huge skylight. That's so unnecessary. What? I, I love these archways here. I don't know how old, because I was thinking that this was an addition on the house. And I'm not sure what era this would have been, this tile work around the archways, but that's a cool detail. And we've got it in this archway too. Uh, it looks like this is out into a little greenhouse area, which is very cool. The rest of the room, the, the, I mean, the colors are, wow. I complain about there not being enough color in a lot of these houses, but who oh boy, this is intense. Um, you gotta really commit to paint not just the walls, but also the ceiling pink. I don't know why these cushions are just stacked on the ground. I feel like the green in the back of these shelves would be a really cool detail if the rest of the room wasn't so loud because it's it's really just an afterthought to the pink here. And it's it's such a bold choice to do this bright green in the back that I feel like that needs to be more center stage than it is in this room. We do have a lot of books. They look like collector's editions and it looks like we've got more up here. We've got a lot of dishes on the shelf. You know the grandma lives here when you've got dishes on the shelf like this. She's the only one that would do that. Oh, and we got a billiards table. If your mansion doesn't have a billiards table, are you really rich? And it's, it's so incongruous from the rest of this room, my God. It's got this, you know, this really shiny, modern looking shape to it. And the rest of this room is straight out of the past. I mean, this, is this from the 1920s directly? I, I, I get preserving the historical details of the house, but really, this bordered wallpaper, that's very dated. I don't know that I necessarily hate it. Now that I'm looking, actually, but if this were like a library or a sitting room or something, but with this very modern pool table in the middle, it's such a mismatch. This looks like maybe a mud room or entryway of some sort. We've got some closets for coats and shoes and all of that fun stuff. Looks like a pretty pr practical space. Uh, the fluorescent lighting is, is a little glaring, but yeah, I d guess you don't spend too much time in here, ideally. All right, we got a bathroom. We've got the toilet on an angle, a weird angle here. Okay. And this wallpaper. We, oh, we've got two different types of wallpaper and the ceiling painted to match both wallpapers. That's a little much. The light fixture is a very bold choice this star motif very bold choice. everything in here is just unapologetically loud 
I think this is uh, an intimidating place to do your business. But I also, you know what? I see a lot of people who go really loud and bold in bathrooms because it's a small space and you don't spend too much time in there. And so you can get really funky with it. Oh, no, 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 no. Why? The... The details on the railing are so cool and original and beautiful. The detail, the navigator star on the floor. So, and then you put leopard print carpet on the stairs. Why? What would possess you? A, it doesn't match. B, why would you do that? <laughs> I don't, I don't understand. Oh. <laughs> No, it's the whole way down. I mean, of course it is. How could you stop it and start a normal? Oh my God, you've got the leopard print carpet the entire length of your house then. Oh my God. That's a crime. This is such a beautiful staircase and it's just been defaced. This is, this is graffiti. We've got a bedroom with, oh, a TV over the fireplace, a TV over the fireplace, because there is nothing more soothing than roasting your electronics as you fall off to slumber uh, and, and ruin your sleep hygiene because you've got a giant ass TV in the bedroom. This, this room is doing too much. This seems like a whole hotel room. Like the fact that you've got a sitting area, you've got a dining table in this room. This is just way too big to be a bedroom. Uh, you want to be cozy. Did they wallpaper the ceiling again? Jesus Christ. Is it, does it match? It matches the wallpaper on the walls. They wall. <gasps> no, I can't deal with that. I can't. Mm, no. And then you've got this patterned carpet. No, 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 no. There's so much wrong with this room. These valences, they don't match a, eh? the curtains don't match. And there's so much. There is maintaining historical details, and then there is this. And this is wrong. That's an awful lot of seating for a bathroom. Um, why are you sitting in here? <laughs> why are you in here so long that you need to just have a seat? Uh, vanity is one thing, you know, you're doing your makeup, but when are you just chilling and sitting in the bathroom like this? The TV. If you need a TV in your bathroom, what you actually need is fiber. The fake sky ceiling with can lights. Oh my God. It's, this is a historical home and you've brought in every sin of the modern McMansion. Something is wrong. Something is very wrong in this house. All right, we've got a huge ass shower. Here's another bathroom. We've got these intimidating Grecian heads staring at us. I don't know how I feel about that. Another TV. Do we really need a TV in every fucking room of the house? That's so unnecessary. Oh, wow. That's one hell of a closet. I can't tell. I, that can't be a mirror because who's taking the picture then? So this goes that whole length. Holy shit. Here's another absolutely enormous bedroom. Do these people ever leave their bedrooms or are these like private apartments that they just hide out in because they don't want to interact with anyone else in their family? You got a whole sitting area over here. You got an, and I mean, I get that this, this may be like a uh, teenager or college age boy's room. He sits in his room and plays video games, but my God. This is another angle on that same room. What is with the land? All of these houses, not all of them, but a lot of them have landlines and I simply do not get it. Do, do you not have a cell phone? Are you just that? Is it because only very old people have this much money and they insist on the land? What is the purpose? What is the purpose of the landline in these houses? I, I need to know. We've got a bathroom with a... Uh... Wall of mirrors, wall of glass. I mean, there's the ceiling is awful, obviously. But other than that, I, I guess it's fine. This looks like another young person's room. It looks like, you know, this is a study area. Maybe someone's doing their homework over here. 
They've got football helmets up top. A smaller sitting area. It's still ridiculous you need a sitting area in the room. The full desk is also a little ridiculous, but I'm, I'm going to chalk that up to uh, young people haven't learned about work-life balance yet. The bed's not against the wall. I don't know if you've seen that meme talking about, like, people who sleep, with, you know, couples sleep with uh, just the headboard touching the wall. Single people sleep with, like, a side and the head touching the wall. People with no fear just let their, their bed. So this is someone with no fear and a landline. What are these cables? Are these holding the house up? I don't, I don't feel safe about that. But this is... Okay, so this is a cool space, though. L lots of very cool built-in shelving here, built-in dresser and storage, um, using those stairs. And then you've got this little loft area up here. That's, that's a fun space to have in a bedroom. I don't know that I approve of how they're using the space, but it is a cool space. Another bathroom here. This is pretty typical rich person bathroom with monogrammed towels. Good lord. Uh, here's a funky little space. Are these walls upholstered? Oh my god, the walls are fabric. These are upholstered and they're stuffed. Because you can see they're like bowing out. Oh my god. Why? Why is, does that match these chairs? <gasps> I am baffled. Yeah, that's the same pattern. It's the same pattern as the... What is happening? Okay, no, what? You could look, they had to like bolster it in so that the light switch could sit there and the outlet could sit there. Who does that? Oh my God, look at it. It's like, it's literally a padded room. It's, it's literally a padded room. This is where you go when you go crazy. Oh my God, this is where they're gonna send me after I'm done looking at this house. Is that a satellite dish? I'm confused. All right, so either these girls come to visit significantly less than the the boy with the massive room with the gaming system, or uh, we just, we don't like the girls as much because we are making them share this room and it, it doesn't look as big as the other ones, so we've just kind of crammed them in here. This carpet is very loud. I'm hoping these are some young girls that maybe helped to design this room. It's a little dark if they're that young. Um, and it's a little pink if they're any older. So I'm not really sure what the correct age for these girls would be. Very dark. Did they paint the ceiling black? That's excessive. This looks like it's in an attic. You've got to come down some stairs to get into the room. Another huge TV in this room. Uh, these people, are they TV addicts? Or do they, do they just feel like it's a show of wealth to just buy 5,000 inch TVs for every single room? I do like the, the use of this little cut in here for the bed. And it looks like you get some nice natural light. So that's got to be a nice way to wake up. Uh, here's a little mismatched room. This very old-fashioned looking chair for the vanity. Uh, the very 2007 bowl sink, which is too tall to actually be useful to you. Um, how many different types of tile here? We got the, the tiny tile over the sink. We got the big tile here. We got a different tile here. It looks like it might transition to yet a fourth style of tile. Oh, wow. Um, where to start with this? I think you have to start with the bed frame. Holy sh- Where did they find this? Did they have to go in a time machine? Did they buy this in, like, 1970s Florida and ship it up to Pennsylvania? What is that? He another huge TV, this carpet- how could you be in this room and not get a headache? That is just a migraine in a carpet. And then this room out here looks so, so pink. That is just bright, bright pink. A very gendered, very gendered household. Look at that. The mirrors, the track lighting. 
it's it's also it's just a weird use of the space with like the desk and the sitting room. I mean, it's another one of these rooms that is like a mini apartment, but the old fashioned couch and chair is kind of modern, funky looking coffee table. The very 80s mirror, the built in. Uh, there is so, so very much happening here. And there's another look at, is this, no, this is a different bathroom. They've just used this kind of weird ruffly vanity chair again. Huge mirror, but these lights that are built into the mirror don't continue all the way up. I guess the space has been used well, because it's an awkward space, but they've built into it well. Um, you've got this built-in slanted cabinetry, and you've used this, the cut-in here for the toilet so that you don't have to like duck. I've, I've seen a lot of people with these slanted roofs, they just stick the, te the, the toilet against the slanted ceiling and you have to like hunch forward and duck and try not to hit your head when you use the toilet. They've placed that much smarter than some other people. Here's the laundry room. What, how much do you need to hang in the laundry room? I mean, I get some things need like need to be line dried, but do you really need that much line drying space? Here's where the leopard print stairs continue all the way down to the basement. I'm assuming this is the basement. Very cool floors. I love the floors. These people, they just pick a color and go with it, don't they? This entire room is the color that, that a blue raspberry Slurpee turns your tongue. And we've got a bar with a big-ass TV behind it. We've got a, a second billiards table. So that one upstairs ruining that weird room for no reason because you've got another one down here. Holy shit. The can lights are awful. I do like the beams running through. Oh, they got ping pong. How about that? That's fun. It looks like this goes through to that covered seating area outside. Man, that's not just blue. That's sponge painted blue. That's so, that's so awful. Oh, what is this? What is this face wallpaper over here? Please show me more of that. Oh, wow. That's, there's so much happening here. I, I think I would really like this wallpaper with all the faces if it were not paired with the face pillows. Like, that can be an interesting detail by itself, but we should not turn faces into like a theme of a space. Uh, this wallpaper, that is straight out of the 80s? I don't know. It's sometime in the past. It's not now. This carpet is exceptionally loud. Oh, good. And it continues into the in-home movie theater. Of course, we've got an in-home movie theater uh, because we are too good for the AMC. And we have put the scrungliest, shitty old couches in here. Those look like they smell like cigarettes. Right, we've got a nice workout room. We've done a pop of color with the green beam running through. That's fun. Got multiple TVs. Got a bathroom. Nothing too special here. What is, is this the in-home therapy room? We've seen these in other, in other houses. It's just like a, a random, weird, quiet little sitting room. It's, this is the room that you come in to have a mental breakdown. This must be, this has to be like a staff apartment. I wonder if this is in that second house in back, but that one looks so open. I feel like this is, this has got to be like tucked in a basement or something somewhere because there's no windows. It's small. But the appliances look nice. It's, it's nothing fashionable, but it doesn't look like an atrocious place to put your staff up. Yeah, look at that. That's, those are nice enough. This, I'm guessing, because it's so much smaller than the other rooms, is also a staff apartment. The fixtures are really nice in here. I think that's a good way that you could tell if they actually cared to maintain the staff quarters. Is like, those are, those are trendy fixtures so this has been remodeled and and redesigned all right so uh, i don't know maybe we're coming out of here but that, no this there's way too many open spaces in here i this is not a staff housing um i wonder maybe the staff housing was over the garage or something like that um but i, I don't think we've been in here yet 
Let's let's see if they bring us in. We've still got 20 pictures left, so I hope so. Yes, here it is. Holy cow, this is a completely different mood from the rest of the house. This is wild because, I mean, this had to have been built in like, I'd say like the 70s. And the, the main house, they really kept it, a lot of those spaces, they really kept in that old, like 1920s kind of style. They, they really didn't want to update or deviate in like, I feel like I keep saying this, but it's one thing to maintain the historical details and the, the artistry of the, the historical details. And it's another to just freeze the house in time style-wise. Like, you can change the wallpaper. You can change uh, the, the, you know, you can pull up the carpets and put in wood floors. You can, you know, you can do those sorts of updates. You can get some modern furniture and still maintain the historical details of the house. You don't have to have it look like a Victorian dollhouse to maintain the historicalness. So I think it's really interesting that they tried to do that, that frozen in time thing with the main house. And then out here, this is so 70s. The, I mean, these mid-century modern kind of looking chairs here, this groovy neon designs. It's like they, they froze this in the time when this house was built, which is fascinating to me. Yeah, that's, that's maybe 60s. I don't know. It's 60s or 70s. But this, the circular fireplace with that gold. Oh boy. Yeah. Still more horrific hand lights. Some interesting window shapes here, though. These window treatments are really interesting. These are built in. They're, they're indoor shutters. And they've got this, this crisscross pattern here. Yeah, this is a very 70s kind of style. Those look so uncomfortable. But they, I mean, they're interesting to look at, but I imagine that they're not great to sit on. This backsplit, look, look at that wood pattern on there. That is very much of an era. It, it doesn't look bad in the modern day. It's like, it's not like you look at it and you're like, oh, this place hasn't been updated. I mean, it looks like they're trying to stay true to like the theme of the time. I mean, the doors, those are all such cool details. They've gone for a very modern fixture here. Oh, wow. Look at that. The floating railing and the floating stairs. And then up here, we've got yep, those triangle windows. We still, we got to have the gigantic TV in the bedroom. You can't get around that. Um, we get the door specially cut to fit here because we've got such an interesting roof line going on. Oh, that's a lot of storage. I What is that for? This is just a bathroom. Oh, there's, yeah, we've got the, the toilet and shower in here. That's not a toilet prison. That is uh, the room where you're allowed to get naked, is what that is. Um, and then we've got another smaller bathroom. Everything just kind of crammed in here. Yeah, that's very cramped. And an extra bedroom here with the almost a futon-like bed. It's like a day bed or something. That's... If your main guest brings their own guest, I I guess. Uh, more of these treatments. These The ones downstairs were silver, I think. So, so we've got different colors of these. And maybe those silver ones were wood and were just spray painted. This wallpaper is... You can see it's textured. It's got like this, this hatching here. That's like a basket weave and we've done it the whole room including the ceiling which is kind of hard to get around with the shape of this room because it looks like this is a steady curve up to the ceiling um you didn't actually have to what you would do is you would stop it where it starts curving up from the wall and then you would paint up there um it's a little boxy having it on the whole thing but i feel like you've got it's a small enough space and you've got enough uh furniture breaking it up that it's not the end of the world and we're back outside at the pool all right two very distinctive buildings and two very distinctive vibes nice sitting area out here oh, look at the the gutters because the roof line is so complicated 
These gutters have to run every which way and cut across the face of the house. This is coming down from the back, maybe? I'm a little turned around. That's the golf course out there. Oh, we got more pigs! Look, that's a pig! These are little pig people! They do love their animal figurines. That's interesting. It's very interesting to me. They've cut a lot of skylights into the roof here. Um, probably, for the sake of using that attic space, probably really necessary just to get enough uh, lighting in there. Um, it doesn't look great the way it's done here with the, the doming and the protrusion. I don't know if there's a better way that that could be done, though. Back on the golf course. They love this golf course. And there it is from above. Yep, you can see they've just got the one hole. There's a joke there, but I'm not going to make it. Very interesting property. Well, that's Pennsylvania. I wasn't really sure what to expect from Pennsylvania because it does have a lot of those East Coast vibes, but then it is very much a Rust Belt, Great Lakes state. Um, this does have an old bunny vibe to it, but then there's also uh, just like that, that adamant preservation of, of the historical era in which the house was built that, I mean, it became so much clearer to see once you saw what they did with this other house, which, I mean, they're trying to preserve a completely different era where they're really just doubling down on that as a source of the styling rather than bringing in their own particular tastes. There were a lot of atrocities committed in this house, I would say, style atrocities. Not so much in this house. I mean, obviously, the, the can lights throughout the ceilings in the entire, in both houses, or all three houses, uh, horrific. That's that's so freaking ugly. I hate that, and I hate that it exists. And so unnecessary. There's enough lighting in here. That said, um, I do I do like this second house a lot better. It is still trying, kind of trying to cling to an era, but I, I feel like that era translates and doesn't seem quite so out of place uh, in the modern day, whereas some of these Victorian dollhouse-looking rooms really do seem just glaringly um, relicary. Oh, I wonder... I bet this is the living room for the staff quarters. I bet that's what this is. All right. Well, that's Pennsylvania. If you saw anything you think I missed, if you've got any comments or suggestions, uh, leave a comment. Otherwise, like, subscribe, and have a good one.